Christine. I'm going to share a book with you that I read with my children um, every evening before we go to bed, and it's called Pig the Pug. So, Pig the Pug by Aaron Blaby. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, he was greedy and selfish in most every way. He lived in a house with a wiener dog, Trevor, but when, when was he nice to him? I'll tell you, never. You've got some great toys here, poor Trevor would say, but Pig would just grumble, they're mine, go away. But it might be more fun, Trevor said to Pig, if we both played together while well, Pig flipped his wig. No, they are mine, didn't you hear? Only mine, you keep your paws off them. They are mine, mine, mine. I know what your game is, you want me to share, but I'll never do that, I won't and I swear. And with that, he proceeded to gather his stuff and make a big pile with a huff and a puff. And once he had gathered them in a, up in a pile, he howled from the top with a satisfied smile. There, shouted Pig, now you won't get my loot. It's mine, 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 mine. So why don't you scoot? But just at that moment, poor Trevor did see the pile was wobbling. Oh dear me. Watch out up there, good Trevor did cry. But the shame of it was, well, pigs cannot fly. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. It's so very different in most every way. Yes, Pig shares his toys now, and Trevor's his friend, and they both play together while Pig's on the mend.